Uh, thoughts on the latest Atlas OS? I need to take a look at it again and see where it's at. I mean, heck, let's take a look right now. Then we got the AME Wizard. Okay, AME Wizard. So let's go to Millerated. I want to see what happened with the Millerated project and check in on it. So where is he at? Did he get any more donations? That was my main worry last time. Okay, he's up to $60 a month. So if you aren't familiar with like Revy OS, Atlas OS, there's a couple other people that use Millerated too. The Millerated project uh, takes an existing Windows install, strips out everything, and then repackages and bundles it as you as those playbooks or configurations. It's basically like a fancy one for that. Now, Millerated is the one behind it. Uh, both Atlas and Revy OS use it. So that's the one that you really should be looking at because that's the big thing. Now let's take a look at the source code. Last time I looked at the source code, yeah, he's never, he never finished the documentation for the open source source code. And I get why, because someone could just take his installer. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, with not much donations and part of it being closed source, um, it's not something I really want to give a lot of eyeballs to until those things happen. Because I just, I don't know. It, it could go south. And that's the thing. I don't want a whole bunch of videos of me going, hey, this is a great OS. Here you go. And then part of the chain gets corrupted or something happens uh, with, with the tool. So I'm a little apprehensive for recommending any of these. Just because those that closed source portion of it, if let's say he wants to crypto mine on your computer during one of these playbook sessions, it, you're disabling security and you're running all this with zero protection. And that can lead to some very bad things. Now, I'm not saying that's happening. And I, I every time I've looked at it, that was not the case. However, I am very hesitant to putting it on video because the video is going to last forever. And it, I will say Atlas OS is a lot better now. They have done some updates where it is a defender and other security features. Well, I mean, it's not so much. It, it doesn't necessarily. It just strips a lot of stuff out. So that's the thing about the this AME wizard as well. You got to really watch what it's stripping out. You got to understand what the playbooks are doing. And you can see all that. So like when you go to like Atlas, I think Atlas is even on here. Let's see, yeah, Atlas and Revy. You can just get the playbooks and download the playbooks themselves and open that up. And this ABX is actually a 7-zip file. Um, oh, let's see, I've done it before. I can't remember the, the password for it, though. Um, but if we open ABX and choose i bet nan zip would also do it nana zip let's try it yeah playbook and let's say you want to take and look at what exact configurations and tweaks it's doing so let's say there was something that atlas did that i really wanted i could come in here take a look at this um what was the password again it was something weird and i think they do that just so no antivirus will see that it's disabling defender because as soon as you put a disabled defender in any kind of script or project, defender will see that that registry and flag it as a virus because every virus wants to disable defender as well. Password is multi. That's it. So let's open this up. Multi. All right. And then this is the tweaks. It shows you exactly what it's doing, what YAML files it's running. I swear it showed a little more than this last time. It looks like this is just a sub of in here. So let's go to tweaks, debloat, and you can see what it's all debloating. None of that I care about. Disable game bar. I wonder how he's doing this. I, there's a couple ways to go about it. Disable game bar with the registry entries here. But you can see exactly what registry entries are doing, that type of thing. So it is all there from the playbook standpoint. So if you wanted to redo this, let's say I wanted to do one for one copy Atlas OS using my own thing. Let's say I wanted to make an Atlas OS button in WinUtil. I could take these 
implement them exactly as they're done here and achieve the same thing. So it's interesting. So yeah, I mean, my thoughts on Atlas are, it's a really cool project and it's nice that they just blanket the bloat and right out of the gate, it's, it's really good. And they've been continually doing updates and improving it. It's built on the ameliorated um, project right here using a YAML playbook. And if you want to see each individual tweak it does, that's how you would do it. Would I recommend it? I don't think I'd recommend it, but at the end of the day, it's it's a nice option. I'm glad it exists. I would recommend it over a stock install for the most part. There are some things with the older versions that were having problems, especially when it comes to Windows Store. It stripped out a little too much when it came to updates and um, Defender. But I know they've been working on that and doing a better job. So maybe we'll do an Atlas. So let's install and do a video soon on it because it is, it is a neat project.